Hello, everyone. It's once again time for Siren. And it is once again time to do a level with Kiyoya, who you'd think from the beginning of the game you'd think would be our protagonist, but he really hasn't had many more missions than anyone else in the game. It's been a large spread of missions between these characters. Like last time we played as Kay, who was a lot more aggressive than we've seen him before as he uh, shot and bludgeoned his way through a bunch of Shibito to take out a brain. But this time we're playing as Kiyoya, and this is going to be a second objective of a mission that we've already done. Uh, the mission that it's actually directing me to, day two at seven o'clock, is one that we can't actually do the second objective of yet. Because there's an item that I need, and I don't have it. But that's fine, because Kiyoya has another mission that we could do with a second objective. That we can do right now, and it's this one, day two, at one o'clock. So we're going to do this one, and actually by doing this one, we will get an item that we need to do this one, at day two, seven o'clock. So we're going to go here... And if you forget which mission this was, this was that the exhausted Kiyoya and Miyako are sleeping deeply inside the abandoned house. Suddenly, they are awakened by a threatening noise. They are soon on edge as they realize that someone or something appears to be in the house with them. Guess what it is? It's Shibito. That's right. I knew you, you got it. I knew you could get it. You guessed. You guessed it. So this one, Kyoya and Miyako were in the house. They have to escape the house. Um, they have to get to the outside. What, what was that? That was basically the whole mission. It's them. They have to find a way to get out of the house since all exits are boarded up. But the second objective is find a scythe. It's embedded in a wall somewhere. I don't know where, but it's somewhere. It mentions searching the storage. We already did that. Our first time round, we unlocked the storage uh, closet, and Kiyoya like broke a floorboard in there, and then Miyako dropped something. She lost something in there. Point is that we already did that. It's not what we need to do right now. We do need to find the submerged key, because we use that to get upstairs. Uh, what do we have? We have our normal weapon. We have that screwdriver that we got f in front of the truck a while back. That was a while ago. And we have this key. We already we already used the key because it unlocks the storeroom. So we don't have to think about that. What we do want to think about is the second objective and what it might be. So as usual, let's bring up the hints. And the one we're going to look at is this one. Day 2, 1, 01, 11, 11. The man is in the cottage. He hates being in the dark. Doesn't sound like it means like a whole lot. But if we take a look at the map, let's bring it up. Maybe it does mean something. Because one of the locations on this map is called the cottage. And it's that little secondary house outside of the main house. It says that the man's in there and he doesn't like the dark. Maybe we should get outside of the house and go to the cottage and see what's there. So the first part of this is going to be the same as it was our first time round, because we have to get out of here. And there's really nothing different about doing that. Get over here. Hey! I wonder why I can't call Miyako. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe because the Shibito was still considered to be alive at that point. There she is. Maybe it maybe would not let me call her until he fell over. All right, and doing that attracts the guy with the gun at the end of the, end of the hallway, and we are just going to walk up to him because he has really good hearing. He was able to hear that. And fortunately, since he has really good hearing, we can use that to our advantage. Hey! No! Alright. Uh, just tell Miyako to wait right here, because 
I had her follow me around everywhere the first time round, but it is easier to just have her wait in certain places so you don't have to walk back through her as you're leaving the room. And there's this thing. It was in the bath. Now it's down the drain. Maybe we'll learn a little bit more about it later on. It's a little side thing. Not important, but I do think we get a little bit more information on that thing. All right. So that guy's getting back up, so I will want Miyako to come with me up here. Just looking at her to make sure that she knows where to go. Remember that if you're not looking at her and you get f too far away, she won't know where to go. We can open this drawer. We can get the pliers. The pliers are in here. We will pick them up. I picked up the pliers. I have to open the altar, and I will tell Miyako to wait right here. All the other doors upstairs are locked. We can't get in them, at least not as Kiyoya. So I had Miyako wait upstairs just to keep her out of danger, but also there's another reason that once she comes down... Oh, hold on. That was close, actually. Once she comes down here, another Shibito is going to bust into this house. So let's listen. Yep, right there. Actually, we didn't hear her come in. I'm pretty sure I have heard the sound of a door open before when she came in. Anyway, don't have to worry about her. Guy with the gun still down. He will stay down for a while. So we're heading back to the altar. One more fight, of course, before we, were, we are able to get outside of the house. Uh, let's tell Miyako to wait right there, because I'm going to cut this open. When I do, and when I take out the key inside, someone's going to bust through, itching for a fight. And the first time we did this, Miyako was in the same room, and it was kind of kind of tight quarters. It's still pretty tight, and Kiyoya has taken some damage, so hopefully, hopefully I don't get hit when this happens. Nothing new in here. We're just going to pick this up picked up the rusty key, and that's someone's cue. Here he is. He's real happy. We're all real happy, the Shibito. Alright, now Miyako can come in here, and we're okay. We can exit through this hole. Let's do that. You know, something I kind of like about this game is how when you look at the box art and you look at the promo art, you usually will see Miyako, and she'll be standing there in the distance with you know, her long black hair, looking like, you know, the, tra the traditional Japanese ghost girl. And then it turns out she's not. She's just like a normal girl. Well, she, I mean, she is... She has a connection to the town and the god and all that. But... She's not like a ghost girl who's trying to kill you, but the, the box art makes you think that that's what she's going to be. Anyway, we're outside now. Uh, we're going to go to the cottage, though actually, the first time I was here, I did not go to the storage. And that's something that I, I missed, and I should rectify that because there is something I need in there. The storage is just going to be over here. It's like this metal structure right here. You can't actually go in here, but I haven't tried it yet. I don't know. I just didn't think of doing that. And this Shibito, look at this. This guy right here. This guy looks unique. He doesn't look like any of the other Shibito, but it, he's just a normal Shibito. It's not like a, a person or a character, but it looks different. And sounds different, but there's nothing special about it. We'll tell Miyako to write, wait right here. Because we're going to go to this door. It's locked, but you know what we can do? We can unlock it. That's right. We can with the rusty key. Kiyoya knows. He knows what he's doing. What's in here? There's a full bottle of sake. And that's rare. When you're in, like, the other dimension full of blood zombies. You don't get this every day. We're going to pick it up. I got a bottle of sake. This is actually the item I need for the second objective in the other level I was talking about. Day two, seven o'clock. We can do objective two now because we have this bottle of alcohol. 
There's nothing else useful here, really. Just this bottle of liquor. Let's take a look at it. No information, really. It's just, it's a bottle of sake. Drink it if you want. No, you can't. Kiyoya can... I don't know what the drinking age in Japan is. Would it be legal for Kiyoya to... To, to start sipping some of that? I don't know. I don't know if it would. But he probably shouldn't because you never know if that is going to come in useful. We're continuing to walk around. And we're going to come up to the cottage right here. Oh. Someone walking away. Yeah, that's a guy with a gun, I believe. Who's at the front. He's, he patrols the front of the house after we get out of here. He's waiting for us. Yep, there he is, there he is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No! Ah. Oh. Actually, that was, that was dumb of me. I should have, I should have hid. I should have hid right there. Fortunately, some of these levels do have checkpoints. And this one is when we get out of the house. So that's actually not such a big deal. Alright. Let's just do what we did. I'm gonna repeat that. Unlock this. Well, she can wait right here, then we'll unlock the door. Just gonna run in here, pick up this bottle. Yeah, I should not have ran at that guy with the gun. I thought I would just be able to make it, but I did not. I was not able to make it. But you know, this game isn't all cruel. Like I said, there the levels do have checkpointing, and sometimes it's pretty it works out pretty well. Ah, that guy's not there right now. There is a circuit breaker right here though, but we can't do anything with that. That's the power to the main house, but we don't need to do anything with that. All right, that guy is not visible right now, but here's the cottage. It's locked. We can try to unlock it, but hey, it cannot be opened from this side. Uh, the clues say that there is a man in the house. And there he is. He has a gun. So he's on the inside of the house. The door is locked. We can't actually do anything about that. We can try to get his attention. Hey! No. Nothing. Just checking for that guy with the gun. <laughs> knock, knock. Someone's having a good time. Actually, who is that? Is it the guy in the house? Or is there a guy right, again, right, right around this corner? No, there is not. I think that must be the guy in the house. You can see Kiyoya's iron poker going through the door. It's clipping right through, but we cannot get through there. All right, so how do we get into that cottage? The clues say that the man in the cottage hates the dark. And I hate guns and men with them. So where is he? There he is. He doesn't see me, though. He's not walking over here right now. But for right now, let's have... Yeah, let's have Miyako hide over here. And he's gonna hide right there, and in case this guy... Nope, that guy's not walking over here. He is walking away. So this cottage... does have a circuit breaker, but has a protective casing on it, so we have not been able to use this before. But the hinge is loose. Miyako, did you see that? The hinge is loose. And Kiyoya did pick up a tool a while back. We did it. Miyako. We did it. We used the screwdriver to open the case. The circuit breaker is switched on. What happens if we switch it off?
Oh, he's trying. Alright, so he hates the dark, so he came out to repair the circuit breaker. Which I, th I think that's kind of a funny way to ambush a zombie or a zombie-like creature. That one, like, you know, that one made sense. It made logical sense on what we on what we should do to get him out of there. So I kind of like that one. What is this? We found a scythe, and that means that mission two is accomplished. It doesn't seem like much. It's just a scythe that's buried in a wall. But because we found it, now let's watch a cutscene that shows us how that got in the wall. A cutscene, actually, with Ayako Kajiro. I wish it was only you that had disappeared. Then this wouldn't have happened! Maybe you could have done everyone a favor and disappeared. I'm sure Jeanne would have preferred that. What? What? Are you crazy? You know, Jeanne is my fiancé. Why are you so afraid to die? Would you rather live on as a monster? What? You can talk. You're the sacrificial lamb. Act like one. I knew it. She doesn't get it at all. new archive item has been acquired and we'll read that next time but uh that's the first time we've seen Ayako we've heard the name before we've read it uh, in the Kajiro family register Ayako is one of the daughters uh she's the one who's actually registered if you remember Miyako is not officially Miyako doesn't exist but Ayako does um Ayako refers to Miyako as the sacrificial lamb. And we've we've gotten some indications about Miyako was part of some kind of ritual to summon the alien god, some kind of bride of god or something. I believe Kay and Shiro mentioned it in their conversation in the hospital. Um, something to note about that conversation is that Ayako mentions that uh, Jun is her fiancé. You might remember that Jun Kajiro is her brother. Adopted brother, but still, he is a Kajiro. Uh, he is in the register. Um, so that's a relationship that was happening. And that uh, cutscene was happening at the end of day one. Like day one, almost at midnight, I think is what that was. Um, so the beginning of day two. And it seemed like Ayako did not know what was going on. She said that it was Miyako's fault that everyone's disappeared. Uh, so she seems angry, she seems upset, and she doesn't really seem to know what's happening. This is in contrast to Jun, who, when we saw him for the first time, he seemed rather calm and just said that he uh, was going to take Miyako back and thanked Kiyoya for taking care of her before Mi uh, Miyako bashed him on the head with a branch. So uh, it seems like Ayako does not really know what's going on here, and Miyako says as much. So that's the first time we've seen Miyako's sister, and uh, learning a little bit about um, the Kajiro family relationships. Maybe we'll find out a bit more next time. But not next, actually not next time, because what we're doing next time is we're actually going to be doing the mission that is probably the most well-known mission in this game. Basically the one that whenever th someone thinks of Siren, this is the one that they're thinking of. So, next time, we'll be doing that as, uh, well, I, we'll be back next time and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. I'll see you then.